Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. I am Razim, currently as Razor the Fire Dog. And this is a new game coming uh, tomorrow. Uh, we've actually been allowed to stream it early. I've been given this code, so fair warning, everybody. This code was provided by the developer uh, for the game. But yeah, we get to play this early before everybody else. So let's take a look at this uh, one military camp. And yes, Jits, it is coming out tomorrow. Uh, they're going to have a small introductory sale. I believe it's going to be $22.50, I believe, for it uh, with the sale price. Uh, it releases in like 21 hours or something like that. It is on Steam. I... Yes, you may talk now. I don't think this is going to work. I can what? use pure chaos! I, I, I Kinda. Wanna... Sirio Khan has turned our room into a buizel. They can only talk like that Pokemon for two minutes. Sorry, Sirio, but apparently Orem being a buizel just isn't going to work. Because he's already an adorable buizel. All right, so there's a campaign to this game. Defeat the evil forces of Dragon and his henchmen to liberate the land through a narrative campaign. Uh, new game, enter text. Um, I, I don't know what text I'm supposed to enter. I guess my name. If I can type today. Traverse this cave. <laughs> They've got a lot of things planned for the game that's releasing into early access soon. Oh, hey, rubber ducky. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, you're curious as to why I was in so much pain. Hold, I um, I grabbed one of the hold, pipes hold and on. I made it go on top of. Sorry. Cutscene. Okay, I guess that cutscene is over. Maybe. Yo. My dad has built a roller coaster. Stop right there! Hands up and turn around very slowly. Oh, so you are the replacement they sent from the Officer Academy? Looking like that? I'll have to make do. If High Command considers you worthy, then so do I. There's no other option. I hope you're ready to work. I'm Sergeant John Hawkins. My friends call me Sergeant Hawkins. My mom calls me Sergeant Hawkins. And from now on, I'm Sergeant Hawkins to you. I'm responsible for this facility, the one military camp. And my mission is to stop that damned dragon. The criminal. He has ruled over the other territories with an iron fist for over a year now. We are all that stands in the way of his evil plans of conquest. My best soldiers and also my worst ones are being held captive in his territory. We weren't able to react in time. If only we had had General Diana Bird whistle with us, things would have turned out differently. Hey. 
But you are here to change that. Keep your ears open. Look forward. Chest out. This camp is all we have left. <laughs> is Sergeant Hawkins going to survive? The one military camp to rule them all? <laughs> It may look dilapidated now, but that's because you haven't started working yet. Our chance to stop drinking is in every rusty piece of iron, in every blade of grass, in every wooden log. We just need to do some fine tuning. Follow me inside and I'll bring you up to date. We'll talk about your haircut later. March! Aren't I supposed to be above him? Sorry guys, I wasn't expecting this. I think I chased them all away. <laughs> yeah. Did I scare everybody off? Hmm? No, yes. I'm here. I just got back. I'm just lost uh -huh. on the maze of pipes. There's more pipes <laughs> than caves. I only laid one of them. You laid the rest of them. You laid one pipe and it covers the entire cave. No, it doesn't. Also, we have an area where all three pipes are stacked on top of each other. That was on purpose, yes. Um, <laughs> Lightning Dragon. That is actually why they reached out to me and offered me a code is because I did Two Point Hospital. It's a different studio. Different theme to it, but uh, that is why they reached out to me and offered me to play it. Oh boy, I gotta do more of his voice. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna be it. honest with you. This camp is a complete disaster. Nothing works, nothing is repaired, and more than anything, we need people. We had to completely abandon it, but then we had to take it back when Dragon seized our other positions. That's why we've gone unnoticed all this time. Go! Feel free to explore the camp, but don't hurt yourself. Once you are familiar with the basic controls, select the barracks. Do you want to play the tutorial? The tutorial introduces all the gameplay mechanics. Ah, uh, shh. No? But, but, they recommend that we play it. No. Let's get good. I'm gonna play it. If you have any doubts about the next step of the tutorial, you can watch a video tutorial by clicking on this icon at the top right of the screen. Oh, cool. I kind of like uh, the fact they have a video for everything. All right, so move the camera. Rotate the camera, that's all basic. Zoom into a building. Select the barracks. The barracks is where our troops will have a chance to rest. It's not all about work. You have to keep your mind and body healthy. Each barracks can hold up to seven cadets. Keep that in mind when things get crowded. Why is it seven? Like, there's space for a eighth one right here. That's the pet dog. Oh, okay. So, so pet it's, uh, Seda? Yeah. As you can see, our new barracks has no power. Like I said, we are running on fumes. Without light, our men and women will find out what the darkest hour is really like. We need to fix that. Build an electric generator to supply power to this whole area. Oh, are they going to complain about the existence of the uh, generator like they do in Planet Zoo? <laughs> we can see your power! Well done!
Okay, I'm done about, uh... <laughs> you don't like when people don't play the tutorial and then don't understand how the game works? If they don't understand despite having t played the tutorial, it is the game's fault, not the player's. I agree, Serio. It's kind of like with, uh, CK3, where I did play through that freaking eight-hour tutorial and still didn't understand any of it. We feel the generator underground! We know it's there! We feel the thrum of power! Oh, the gap left. I think my connection died. Right when I got to extraction, I'm so sorry. Go ahead, it's fine. Let's talk about the chow. Find the canteen and click on it. Okay. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> ah, army chow. You never forget that taste. Back in my day, they even used to toss in an old tire or two. This is gourmet food by comparison. Let's use this old canteen. But to do that, we should connect it to the rest of the camp. Build a road to the canteen. Ah, so it's not just... Okay, so each uh, generator has its own uh, amount that it can fuel. Okay. Okay, okay. I see what you're laying down, game. I see what you're laying down. Uh, Kind of digging the game so far. Like, the building mechanics and everything. For early access, like, this is really good. I do wish that they would tell me if I need to actually, like, put this inside that field or something. I'm going to assume so. Jibe Gap cheered with 300 <laughs> eggy bitties. <laughs> Thank you for the bitties, Gip Gap. That, that was the, uh, that was the dice. Are you satisfied, Gip Gap? Jibe Gap cheered with 150 eggy bitties. Ole! Though it fell off. So after I place it, it gives me the option to actually connect cables. I see. Cool. Hello. Ah. Hello. Let's turn Razor into an easy marketable pillow. Or say we turn Dart into a marketable pillow. No, we turn Dart into a marketable plush. Yes, Serio! New Biddy redeems! If you go check the Creator News channel on the Discord, we've added new stuff. Alright. Workers can sleep in the barracks with the troops, but their morale will be higher if you build them a private house. Oh, I wish my job would provide me with a private house. Well, then again, I am my own boss, so I guess I do provide myself with a private house. Well, apartment, but, you know. <laughs> he put up some advertisements to bring in new candidates. What's up? I should probably hop off games and get ready for work. Oh, sure. Bye-bye. Uh, 
It was fun chatting. Happy to see you. Bring me back one of those cookies. No, those are mine. He yeah. doesn't even bring me cookies anymore. I want a spiced chicken sandwich. I, I brought back a six count cookies that's on the snack shelf. Well, how was I supposed to know I'm allowed to get into that? Everyone is allowed to grab things from the snack shelf. I was unaware of this. <sighs> I'm gonna come over and examine your snack shelf. No. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll be enjoying some popcorn later then. The the snack shelf's the one with the all the candy on it uh, in the corner. I don't know about the popcorn. Oh. Do we have popcorn on it? Yeah, there's two bags of popcorn on it. Oh. Yeah, there should be free. Look uh... at this guy, Hansel Poposki. As you can see, every candidate has their own specific skills. The skills we want depends on the job. Well, on one hand, they have skills, which are their basic abilities. On the other hand, they have traits, which show us their special talents. Hello there, alt pal. Zim, I know if we ever got in like an apartment together, it would uh. You'd be stopping by in my room a lot because I am always the snack haver of the house. Like Good to all know. of my family will s come to my desk at various points throughout the day and take my snacks. <laughs> Hello there, Olga Vaughn. Well, I I will definitely do this <laughs> if invited. Yeah. He says he makes an incredible cabbage soup. Yo. So, so I, I guess people just show up in my in my base, and then I'm like, okay, I know you were just uh, visiting, but you're hired. <laughs> U.S. Army recruitment strategy. <laughs> <laughs> you just showed up at my facility. Congrats. You're part of the army now. Here's your helmet. Here's your gun. Go shoot some enemies. Oh my god, I would not want any food coming out of this kitchen. Look at this thing! Ew. Like, what the hell? That is gross! Yeah, also, Our what, um, what Shmoops has explained, what, like, Emery's are like, I never want to eat any of that stuff. <laughs> I have had Emery's before. Some of them are okay. Yeah. Someone call Gordon Ramsay this kitchen is a nightmare? Yes. Oh my gosh. Our troops will eat like kings. Yeah. In the... It, 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 yeah, the, they'll definitely eat like kings. In the medieval, you know, era. The, the Dark Age. There. Yeah. <laughs> Complete no, with uh, salmonella. Huh? They ain't pretty well compared to They try to have hygiene sometimes. I'm afraid you're breaking up a bit. Yeah. Oh, come on. There's probably some mushrooms in that kitchen. You're dying to... St I'm dying to taste his soup, but it's still early. First, we have to get the canteen ready. This building has been abandoned for a long time. It is in terrible condition. Y you don't say. Look at those floors. It's disgusting. I, I'm more concerned about the prep area itself. Like, dirty floors are one thing, but what you're actually cooking with is another. Hey. We need to hire a maintenance worker to straighten out this mess. 
As the son of a chef, you are offended? Regarding what, Serio? The state of this kitchen, or...? Oh god. Now I'm suddenly reminded of... I, I don't understand it. It's repulsive. But for some reason, TikTok has this trend of people cooking things in toilets. I I am. Um... Those kids aren't Ugh. stealing toilets out of school bathrooms anymore because of that weird TikTok trend. TikTok has the weirdest, most dangerous trends I have ever seen. Yeah, like the Kia boys. <laughs> but people were fucking the Kia challenge where they would steal key. They were just doing Grand Theft Auto in real life. Just steal cars for fun. There is some good stuff on TikTok. I mean, I've got a TikTok. But the majority anything that's trending is garbage. Hello. Yeah, I I like sped run TikTok and then never use it again. I made a TikTok, posted three videos, got a thousand followers in like three days, and then never use it again. Once we have one, just select the canteen info menu and request it to be cleaned. Back in my day, we just used a toothbrush. Hey. Uh, no. Make sure they get it sparkling clean. I want to see my reflection in those floors. I mean, some of those floors are literally just dirt. It's just dirt. I mean, literally. The, the tent out here just has a dirt floor. That's where they actually eat. Even the military camps and projects on board look nicer than this. Okay, so I needed to build a warehouse, a private house. Now I got a higher maintenance worker. Hello, random individual that wandered in. Congrats, you're hired. You. <laughs> now all we're missing is the supplies. We can't run our canteen if we don't have any food, can we? We have to take care of this. Supplies are essential for keeping the machinery running. We have to be careful and make sure that what we, that we always have a constant flow of resources. Our main supplies are fuel, food, medicine, and ammo. The downside is that they are hard for us to find. To get them, we'll have to talk to some suppliers. How about you talk to the US? We got plenty of that stuff. Or at least the last part. <laughs> We're the United States of America. We can airdrop a fucking McDonald's anywhere on the planet and have it operational in like 24 hours. <laughs> Weren't there mushrooms growing on the walls of the canteen? More than enough nutrition in those. <laughs> All right, we're off to the map, it looks like. This is the country map. As you can see, Dragon has taken control of almost every region. That recalit recalcitrant fool? I have never heard of that word. Recalcitrant. Having an obstinately uncooperative attitude toward authority or discipline. 
Okay. Uh, recalcitrant. Recalcitrant? Ah. Yeah. To bring up your map, either press the count country map icon at the bottom left of your screen or zoom out in camp view until the map appears. If you want to return to camp, press the country map icon again or zoom in on your map. Easy, isn't it? Look closely. See those little buildings? Some of them are resource suppliers. The problem is that most of them are in areas controlled by Dragon. As we complete missions, we will unlock new territories and gain access to these suppliers. Some have more competitive prices or greater production capacity. Keep an eye out for good deals so we can save some money. Anyway, let's go back to the camp. We need to talk about how to manage our supplies. Don't, don't we need to get supplies first? We will need warehouses to manage our supplies. Warehouses allow us to store these precious resources. They come in various types depending on what they hold. Don't mix fuel, food with fuel or we might have an unexpected accident. <laughs> I, I doubt it, uh, Algavon. <laughs> hey there, old pal. Hey. Hey. We also have to place them close to the buildings that need them, because our maintenance personnel will have to go back and forth pushing a wheelbarrow. If you put a warehouse too far away, they'll have to run a marathon just to get there. Build our first food warehouse near the canteen. Didn't we already do that? What is this? Oh, it's a maintenance building. Okay. This, uh... Watch as this game ends up having a crossover with Payday 2. Oh, no. Because everything has a fucking crossover with Payday 2. Well, Rygon, are you ready for the one military camp Payday 2 achievements? Oh, can't wait. <laughs> Holy crap, they have so many buildings in this game. Oh, that's decorative at least, but... Food warehouse. Alright. Wait. <laughs> Is that food warehouse literally just an open yard with some walls? Maybe. Yes. I mean, they, if they, it works. They they don't at least put a roof on it? Or, I don't know, refrigeration? Nah, that's just necessary. I mean, MREs don't need refrigeration, right? Okay, fair point. <laughs> That's right, a brand new warehouse. Our maintenance staff will be in charge of distributing the supplies. In the meantime, let's contact our first supplier. Also, I love how there was a brief moment where they, they're color, they're, they're clearly using like HTML or something for the text in this game. Because it started typing out the slash B with, with the carrots or whatever they're called at the end of it. <laughs> Avalio Savoli, hello! It's a dwarf fortress stockpile. <laughs> if you look at the warehouse info panel, you can bring up the supplier list. We only have one right now, but more will appear as we gain new territories. Check your map from time to time to compare suppliers and unlock territories. A duke! Also, it's time for Stream Raiders. Que. The Seda is quiet. <laughs> I have gained wings! Apparently. Yay! <clears throat> 
There's also apparently going to be multiplayer added to this game eventually. They said a asynchronous, so I don't know exactly what they're planning to do with it. But that'll be interesting to see. Like, they sent me a whole bunch of stuff about this game. Again, everybody, this game was provided to me uh, by the developers. Let me pull up their roadmap real quick. So, in, so March, they're enhancing missions, uh, see what's happening in the battle log and make decisions that can change the course of the mission, self-sufficiency, manufacture your own supplies inside your camp, and they're adding Steam Deck support. Nice. Nice. Uh... They've got, a in April, they're adding Sandbox Mode, Unlimited Play, with customizable rules and different victory conditions. Uh, somewhere between April and May, they're going to be adding Steam Community Items, as well as Accessibility and Usability Update. Uh, May, Camp Mascots, boost the morale of your soldiers with different pets to choose from. I picked Seda, and Werni, and Rygon, and all pal. We're gonna put you all in the in the camp. Congrats. You ever take me alive? Too late. You're already there. <laughs> Um, in June. Time to break my leg. Oh God! <laughs> no, you're gonna be the pet of the camp. I love physics. You're gonna be the pet dog, so everybody can go around petting you. I'm still gonna break my leg. I'm going to be the pet snake. <clears throat> um, but in June they've got. Customization. Change your recruits' names and appearance. Customize your flags and decorative items to make the, your camp truly your own. Uh, summer update. They're going to have some fresh vibes for the camp. July. Social features, leaderboards, Twitch integration, and more. In September, they're adding two new bio biomes for sandbox mode. And challenge mode. Some challenging scenarios. It looks like they plan to fully release in September. Uh, things they don't... <laughs> things they don't plan to do. Add gore or explicit violence. RTS or turn-based tactical battles. Surrender. I kind of wish that they would add ta turn-based tactical battles. That would be fun. I'm wondering what their little battles are going to be. And yes, Serio, you can pet the dog. By going over to uh, Seda's channel when he's live. Which you can also see Seda's channel down in the uh, title of the stream. Yeah, I forget you can do that now. Nice feature. I am enjoying this feature. I have been boxed! How dare you! Professional boxers in. I don't think I'm a boxer, I've just been boxed. Ah. Duke. Serio. Serio. Thank you for getting me all moist. 
Look, look the, the Martin mask. The Martin masks up. That's right. If Buddy can mask up, you can too. <laughs> Request our first food order. Okay. We can order food from Top Bun. <laughs> okay, so I'm finding all the ways... Oh! Apparently Top Bun has a helicopter. And they airdrop... We're airdropping McDonald's! Okay! <laughs> All right, how about building a fuel warehouse to supply our electric generator? Remember, the, the more warehouse, warehouses we have, the more maintenance workers we will need. You may need to hire someone else. Hey. Let's get to work. Okie dokie. Well, I guess we'll put the uh, fuel warehouse next to the uh, electric generator. And we're ordering fuel from Just Gas. Too much noise in building? Oh no, we have to manage noise? Well, on the well, plus side... I mean, on the plus side, at least when it comes to that stuff, it's only when the helicopter's coming in to drop off supplies. <laughs> Why do we even need a kitchen if we airdrop to take out? Don't question it, Serio! That is above your pay grade! Our troops have to go through some trade tough training before they can pick a specialization. There are many different specializations, from pilot to comms operator, or even spy. Each specialization requires a different set of skills. Hello there, Corbin! That's why the first skills training is the most important. As new recruits come in, we will need to think very carefully about the training we give them and which specializations we need most. For now, let's focus on two kinds of basic training. Build a strength training building and an intelligence training building. Hey. Oh, and one more thing. Choose where you build them wisely. Training buildings make a distinct sound, like an enemy's weapon. It's best to keep barracks away from entertainment areas so that our troops get some sleep at night. If you need to clear the ground, remember that you have a demolition tool. Let's get to work. Okay. I guess I'll go with some more road then. Since people need to uh, sleep and not be disturbed by sleep. I think I will build another path over this way. And we will demolish this building. And... Put them over here.
All right, intelligence training. Ah. It's a book armory. That's actually not a bad uh, building. We need to train biologically enhanced soldiers by merging them with animal DNA. I agree. Seda, you're in charge of that department. You got it. Wernie, we're putting you in our uh, special ops division. Develop the furry plague. Yep. Well, for making TF juice, we're going to have to go over to Factorio Serio. But we can absolutely uh, send the TF juice from there over to here. Yeah. So, Seda, uh, we'll provide you with lots of test subjects. Uh, so, figure out what those different juices do, okay? You get it. <laughs> we have some new faces. Well, hello there, random people. Make sure you check everybody's skills and traits. If they have the wrong skills or traits, they won't be effective on missions. That's something we can't afford. Let's start with that one there. For our training program, we need someone with an athletic build. Someone who is used to physical activity. I don't think that's the case here. This recruit isn't in great shape. I don't see much potential. Maybe we should take a look at some of the other recruits. We'll figure out what to do with this one. Uh, which one? Ow. Let's see about this recruit. Good, much better. That's the one. This recruit is in really good shape, and I think they have a lot of potential. The decision is yours, but we need to recruit someone as soon as possible. Pick one of them, and we'll start training. Okay, so they've got... Uh, sprinter. Speed improves 25% faster. They got high intelligence. Uh, what does this one got? Sickly. Increases the chance of getting sick or injured while training by 5%. Ah. So, I need to head out to take a nap. So, you beans take care. I hope you have a fantastic Good day, night. Seda. Take care. Or rest well. Well, if they're good at intelligence, I guess we'll send them to the intelligence training. Fire! Congratulations, Private! Soldier, get to work! Sorry, I get a little excited every time a new cadet steps onto the training field. I love the smell of sweat in the morning. Ah, oh, reminds me of my early days. Except it was a lot tougher back then. Sergeant Campbell, he was one tough guy. Anyway, where was I? Ah, oh, yes, skills training. You see, when a recruit comes into camp as a private, they'll go to whatever training they want unless you tell them otherwise. These young people today have no respect for anything. They think they can do whatever they want. If my buddy Sergeant Campbell could see them, I would. it would drive him nuts. Airdrop the TF Jews from Factorio here. Gotta research rockets first, Sirio. Rygon! I think we lost the Rygon. Goodbye, Rygon. He's also deafened. Oh. Jerk. I guess he's not entertained. Or he's probably riding. Like I said, they're hard-headed. The only solution is for you to tell them where you want them to train. 
Our new recruit is on their way to the strength training building, but we're going to change their plans. Click on the soldier and in the service section on the info panel, assign them to the intelligence training center. I, 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 I already did. <laughs> when the time comes, it will come in handy if we are able to specialize troops into comms operators. Remember what I told you, skills training is the key when deciding which specializations our cadets should have. Finally, if you want your troops to train faster, you can speed things up in the menu on the bottom right of your screen. There's a lot of work ahead. Let's get to it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, You've done very well. Training is going smoothly, and I think we're ready to bring in more recruits. Um, we, 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 they literally haven't even left the building yet. They haven't started their training, training yet. Training is going very well, Zoom. <laughs> they haven't even started. It's going well. Let's see if we can get a few artillery specialists and comms operators, but first they'll need to complete their training as privates. Let's focus on training more troops. I'll tell you how specializations work later. I'll leave it in your hands. Don't let me down. Yes, sir. Okay. So... Ah. Oh, so that's literally all I have to do is just set their training goal. Cool. We got a new one. Hey, Liz Fernandez, a handy woman. Everyone in the neighborhood calls her when something breaks. We'll need a lot of training to stand out in any specialization. So, so slow, she looks like she's running backwards. Ow. <laughs> Brain accuracy isn't bad. Yeah, we'll hire him. He asserted that trading is going well. <laughs> Oi! What are you two doing? It's almost night time. Time flies when you're busy. Your people, recruits included, need to go to sleep at night. Rest is important. However, if we want this to work right, our camp will have to provide services around the clock. Obviously, we can't make them work day and night. That would be inhumane. But we can assign some of our workers to the night shift. Yo. Pay attention, this is important. To make the best use of our people's skills, managing their schedules properly is crucial. Hmm. Don't worry, it's easier than it looks. You can bring up the info panel by selecting a soldier or worker. Here you can see their current schedule and the buildings they are assigned to. The schedule has day and night shifts and is divided into service and rest periods. Yeah, Achi, the uh, game is looking very neat so far. And no, I'm not making stormtroopers. I need the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. Son. <laughs> J. 
Duke. It is important to find a balance between these if you want to keep morale high and prevent injury. Luckily, I am always on top of things. I've prepared a couple of standard schedules for you to use. Simply select whoever you want to choose a night or day schedule. You can also customize schedules by clicking on each box separately. It's getting dark and this camp has to keep going. Hire a cook and assign them to the night shift. I don't know if I want to hire a new cook then make them the night shift. Oh, okay, they both have that. The other one also has the night owl thing. Yeah. Yes, Congratulations, new recruit. You are now chef. Okay. Uh Well, I'm probably going to make you, uh, maintenance. All right. And assign you to the sure okay. night shift. Yes, sir. You are also night shift. Yes, sir. Wait, yes, sir. Okay, two of them are night shift, one is day shift. Got it. Good job, our camp will have a 24-7 kitchen service. Remember that every, whenever you hire or recruit someone, they will have a night or day schedule depending on when they first set foot into camp. The time of day is given on the time bar at the bottom right of your screen. You can also speed up time if you prefer to skip the wait. You'll need to arrange our troop schedules well. Make sure that all other camp services are provided around the clock and everything will run smoothly. But let's get on with the lesson. The sun is going down and our cadets and workers have finished for the day. This has truly been the longest day. Uh, actually, not yet. Uh, apparently that is a feature that they will be adding later. It's important that they get a good night's rest so they'll be able to work hard tomorrow. Hey. We can't afford to have people slacking around here. We have to keep morale high if we want to keep this going. <laughs> In my day, Sergeant Campbell knew how to be persuasive. But his th methods, thankfully, are a thing of the past. I never thought a cadet could run so much, but apparently alligators are pretty fast. What? Nowadays, we use less medieval methods to encourage the troops. To keep morale up, you have to be careful not to assign too much work. Also, as you may have seen, we can construct certain buildings or other entertainment amenities to help reduce stress. <laughs> How about a game at the arcade or a visit to the museum? Wait, we can just build a museum in our freaking military camp? Well, actually, well, I guess course. that's not too far fetched. Uh, Oh, hi, Rygon. Hi, I'm, you know, I'm just going to be popping out for a little bit, so I'll catch you all later. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. See ya. Bye. Bye. Ah, <clears throat> uh, no, they did not, Achi. Imagine the game allowing custom models in the game. Razor, Zim, and the professor running around in the game. That would be kind of cool. Row. Row indeed. I guarantee you the troops will appreciate it and they'll show their appreciation by working hard. So much for today's lesson. Build an, an, build an entertainment building and if you like, add some street lights to our camp. Our troops can't see in the dark hmm. yet.
Yeah, they need to be TF'd for that. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's literally just generic entertainment building. We'll put it here. Leave some space for a road. Well, I guess it is kind of an all-purpose entertainment building. They got all sorts of things in here. They host a barrel trauma nights in there. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Nothing builds teamwork like barrel trauma. Yes, sir. <laughs> just, just, just a little thought cloud over his face. Yeah. Copy that, boss. Okay, so I guess he'll go over to. He's assigned to maintenance, but I guess I assign him to strength trading. For some reason. Recovers 25% slower from an injury or illness. Ugh, guess we'll take you. Send you to strength training. Congratulations, recruit! You're hired! Oh, we need another one of these. Okay. Ah, they barely have any power, but they do have it. Put that building there. What's the alert? All right. Yeah, you'll be assigned to that one. Okay, who do we got here? He's fiercely loyal to the people he cares about and would do anything for them. Does not excel in any discipline. He seems he'll need to train hard to get very far in his soldiering career. Some drink from the fountain of knowledge, but he just gargled. <laughs> Fair enough. We'll set you to strength training. Need for food increases 14% faster. All right. Well, you'll go to the intelligence training. Get going, recruit. Why are you not getting over there? Yes, sir. Training goal not set. Okay. Uh, you train for artillery.
Yes, sir. You are going for comms operator. Yes, sir. You... Uh, go for strength, artillery. Yes, sir. You also go for artillery. Oh, hey. I know it all who always thinks she knows more than everyone else, even if it's not true. Knows how to tie her shoes. At least that's something. She can't hit a target even when it's right in front of her nose. Sure. All right. Yes, sir. You go for comms operator then. We'll see if we can't level you up. Yes, sir. I love to see the camp in full swing. The hard training, the sun in your face, the, and the sobs of troops begging for mercy. It reminds me of the good old days. It's take time. It's time to take our training one step further. The rookies are ready for their specializations. They will go from inexperienced weaklings to well-trained professionals. How exciting. I don't know if you've noticed, each soldier's info panel allows you to choose which class you'd like them to specialize in and shows you what skills are required. When one of our soldiers meets the requirements, they will let you know they are ready for a specialization. However, I recommend that you check how our cadets are progressing from time to time. We need a comms operator, but we can't promote one before building a comms operator specialization building. Once you have it, just go to the soldier's info panel, and from there, bring up the specialization tree. It's that easy. Hey. Okay then. Oh, I can build the other training buildings now. Cool. We'll put that there. Power Overlord. Add more power sources. Okay, we will do so in just a moment. We got the achievement, the four pillars. And now we need more power generation. Oh God, this uh, alarm is annoying. How do I actually wire this thing up? I guess I can't. Uh, it would be nice to be able to move this uh, storage over there, but I don't think I can. So we're just going to have to uh, demolish. And over here. Let's order some new uh, supply. All right, soldier list, here we go. Yes, sir. You can be specialized. Yes, sir. Uh, ha. 
Congratulations, officer. We now have our first specialist. Our camp will be full of true professionals soon. Give it time. Ah, the joys of getting a Factorio mod set up going. Ah, you're going all out on this, aren't you, Lightning Dragon? Thank you. Now he too is on crack. Oh, he's uh, he's already been on that. He's helping me find mods for it. But Ooh. I will be right back, everybody. Ah, alright, Lightning Dragon. I'm assuming that that's going to require that I start a new playthrough, though, right? Also, I have cookies. <gasps> what type of cookies? Chocolate chip. <gasps> Jealous. They're, they're from chick fil -A. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, we need uh artillery specialization building. Oh, 
Oh, there is a limit to how far the cables will go. Good to know. Hello there, New Year's. <clears throat> ah, apparently the artillery specialization building requires an ammo depot or warehouse, whatever. Bullets, bombs, and beyond. I like that name. That is great. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, let's get you promoted. Also, the game keeps unpausing on, on me, and yes, I don't sir. want it to unpause. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. The recruits have become fully fledged professionals. I think they're qualified to take on their first mission. Oh, I'm doing all right, kids, soon. Or New Year's. All right, Lightning Dragon, I'll take a look at it soon. Probably not until after I'm done with streaming for the day, though. Wait a second, I see you haven't built a heliport yet. We can't send our people to the front without a means of transport. Let's fix that. Heliports are essential buildings for us. They enable us to send our cadets on it in other t on missions in other territories. It's essential that we build one as soon as possible. So let's get to it. Think carefully about where you want to put it. Try not to disturb the troops when they're resting. You can't imagine how load a fully how loud a fully loaded helicopter can get. I I, I can imagine. I have heard it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Heroic. Yeah! They reduce the chance of squad mates not making it back from a mission by 15%. Sure thing! Yes! You're hired! Shinichi Suzuki, the kindest person in the world. Even if you step on his foot, he will apologize to you. Oh, so he's Canadian. <laughs> My God. What? Uh, Karma, I believe the moth is busy, but I don't know. 
Moth, are you there? Hi, are you here? Ah, Karma is checking you for bombs. Uh, I have all the bombs. I am about to explode. Brow. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, let, let, let's get you on mission real fast. <laughs> oh, I'm still, like, upset I didn't get the epic dub on Saturday. With my amazingly set up trap I had lured everyone into on SS13. The bomb would have blown up and would have killed, like, half the server, and it would have been glorious. But I didn't arm it. <laughs> oh my god. It was uh, set on a proximity sensor. And uh, the plan was uh, everyone would try to rush into engineering to arrest me after I murdered someone. And I had, um, they thought I was trapped in there, but I had actually disconnected the AI from the doors I wanted to escape out of. And had uh, disabled the cameras the AI was watching me on. And my goal was, oh, I was going to lure them into the trap. They were going to blow up. I had another bomb set up to blow up the SM and destabilize it, which would cause it to start to delaminate, which would mean they would have to uh, fix that before like half the station gets vaporized. So that would give me plenty of time to escape, go around to the other side of the station by EVA and uh, uh, EMAG a uh, escape pod and escape. So what and you're it would have saying. been epic uh, traitor dub, but I didn't arm the fucking bomb. <laughs> Ready. All I had to do was press one button. And I yeah. <laughs> tisk tisk, Wernie. Tisk tisk. I was upsetty spaghetti. <laughs> no, that's how it goes in SS13. Start your engines, boys! It's time to fly! Alright, where are Also, Get those wings flapping. Alright, alright. Also, it would have been pretty funny to blow up, uh... Schmoops again. Because <laughs> Schmoops was, like, leading the, the team that was trying to arrest me. And he like he walked in the door first without even even checking anything. So as soon as he walked in that door, it would have blown up the the welder car and plasma canister I had left in there waiting for the. <laughs> Jeez, hey Dark Fang, let's check the map to see where we're needed. Looks like they're in urgent need of help in Rocky Appendix. Th that that's the name of the region? Rocky Appendix? <laughs> I'm gonna pull this. If you select the mission on the map, you'll see information on the requirements, troops we can send, and reason for the mission. Let's see. It seems the citizens of Rocky Appendix are desperate. Dragon has banned cabbage in their territory. My cabbages! That's a bitch. No cabbage. <laughs> cabbage is a national delicacy. Stuffed cabbage, cabbage soup, uh, cabbage soup, cabbage pie. Ah, classic sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is good. I like sauerkraut. They even banned Brussels sprouts. You know, the ones people like to saute in butter. So delicious. My God, it's just so heartless and cruel. These people can't live without cabbage. We have to do something immediately. Select the troops you want to send on the mission. At the bottom, you can see their probability of victory in percent. The better trained the troops we send are, the more likely we are to succeed with the mission. As you can see, each mission has requirements we have to meet. This one asks us to send one comms operator and two artillery specialists. If we succeed, we will have more money for our camp. 
Come on, let's get on with it. These people can't hold on a minute longer. Okay. Mission, save the cabbages, save the world. <laughs> the people of Rocky Appendix are desperate. That evil dragon has banned all cabbage. Can you believe it? It's the local specialty and the people are going crazy. Fortunately, dragon's forces are pretty weak here. This is a perfect opportunity to put what we've learned into practice. Put together a squad of our best communication specialists and artillery troops and show that villain what we're made of. These people can't live without their cabbage. We have to give them hope again. You know, this is true, New Year's. You generally don't mess with food. People, food drives people to very, very big extremes. Why would kobolds be angry over lack of cabbage? Copy that, boss. All right. Consider it done, boss. Ah, right, let's start this mission. Oh, it's literally just a wait time. Oh, thank. Okay. Train for artillery. They use it as offerings in Dwarf Fortress? Ah, fair enough. I don't think I've run into that myself, but it does make sense. We need another barracks. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. Why, yes, Karma, I am preparing for what? Wah! Oh, we have very little income. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely need to take more territories.
Jeez, these people get little cakes for dessert every day? Where do I sign up? How to get Zim to fight in war, offer cake. <laughs> well, I'll offer fried Oreos. Offer accepted. Hello there, Fenrix. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> that was a fine victory. <laughs> it's a place downstairs will make me fried Oreos if I ask them. <laughs> You saved us! That despicable dragon had us on bread and water! He took away our cabbage and made us burn our entire crop! A lot of good cabbage died on that horrible summer evening! Yeah! Yes, I propose that we erect a statue for our fallen cabbage! And from now on, this day shall be remembered as Cabbage Day! Oh my god. <laughs> this game is Not delightful. <laughs> oh, I'm doing good, Fenrix. I am glad I decided to go ahead and respond to that email and they, they let me get this. Like, or they sent me this. We shall cook cabbage for breakfast, cabbage for lunch, and cabbage for dinner. We shall bring offerings to the cabbage god, and... Enough. I think you are getting a bit too too excited. Yes. We could uh, do that, or maybe... Well, maybe we don't do any of that, and we just focus on rebuilding the city. That sounds better. <laughs> you sound like yourself again. I thought I had lost you. Please, Sergeant, you have to do something. Our friends from the Southern Territories have told us that their situation is starting to get very bad. Jantine Roosevelt, one of Dragon's top three generals, rules with an iron fist. She doesn't mess around. Be careful. Victory! Well done, guys. You did a great job. The people of Rocky Appendix can now live in peace. You've all earned some rest. And the good news, we don't... Uh, and the good news don't stop there. We've earned some extra money we can use to upgrade the camp. Every time we reclaim a territory, we bring in more funding for our cause. The more territories we liberate, the more economic support we ha will have. This will allow us to upgrade our camp and train more troops. But we aren't just here to take territories back. We also have to maintain good relations with the towns in them. Each town has a popularity rating that we have to monitor. If this rating is high enough, we gain additional funds to take on Dragon. Troops coming from those towns will have better traits. Plus, we'll get special deals with suppliers there. Bye. Have a good time. Goodbye. To improve our relations with the towns, we can attend to their needs and respond to the requests. Our reputation improves as we resolve their issues. However, not helping them or failing in our efforts could have the opposite effect. Also, if you see that a town has a low popularity li has a low popularity but no active requests, you can help them by sending personnel to serve there permanently. Towns often need medicine or maintenance or other issues to solve, so keep an eye out. Treat the different towns well and they will support us unconditionally. Only if we remain united can we defeat Dragon. Jeez, there's a lot to manage with this. <clears throat> you learn fast. I like seeing that enthusiasm in the people I work with. Keep it up. We still have one important ta topic to cover, and I think you'll like it. Technology. technology. Our, 
It would have been better if they had science there. Science! Our enemy uses state-of-the-art equipment. It is key that we do the same. In addition to constructing buildings and recruiting soldiers, we will we need to improve our infrastructure and research new technologies. To do this, we use research points. We earn these points at the research lab, where our best minds are focused on studying and learning everything they can to improve our camp. Thanks to their tireless effort, we've earned research points that we can redeem for new advances on the technology tree. Sound good? Build a research lab and hire a researcher. Once we have one, I'll tell you a bit more about the tech tree. Okay. Uh, we'll put it over here. Wait, what, New Year's? There's a game where you're trying to get elected as mayor because the current mayor banned chicken nuggets? I mean, banning chicken nuggets is literally a uh, execution level offense. Am I wrong? You don't touch the chicken nuggets. Especially if the Martin wants it. You. Duke. Martin. He's an investigative buddy. I see everything, buddy. You do. But buddy will still win. He will be victorious against the evil robot camera. <laughs> Sirio Khan is keeping the baby Sable from the chicken nuggies. No! Chicken! <laughs> Let them eat Chimkin! The one military camp is now fully operational. Little by little, we will recover the other territories from Dragon's clutches. That know nothing good for nothing spineless, he's getting on my nerves. My biggest regret is not being able to confront him face to face. While the others went to fight, I had to stay at the rear. Someone had to train the new batch of recruits. How frustrating. 
We have to put an end to his plans and restore peace to these lands. Our first victory gives me hope that we will succeed. I've taught you all the basics of getting the camp up and running, but there are still many things we will have to talk about during your adventure. I believe that you will defeat Dragon. Together, we will end his reign of evil. We will take back every territory in the country and drive the vermin from our lands. Good luck. Okay. There has been a lot of reading. Yes, sir. All right, so you are currently training for accuracy, which is an infantry thing. Okay. Yes, sir. You are ready to specialize in yes, artillery. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You train for explosive explosives engineer. I love how the explosives engineer requires speed. It's pretty <laughs> great. Okay, we set the bomb. Run! <laughs> we need more explosives engineers, though. The best direction to run when a bomb is about to go off is away. Precisely. Yes, sir. Set goal for explosives engineer. want you so where any where any is deafened Oh, he's probably taking a call. Cause where he's been hanging out while we're while working. Oh. One moment, everybody. Altpool 234 is helping the Martin on his adventure. Behold the little backpack. 
Get in, we can see what you... Oh. I love the little backpack. I absolutely love the little backpack. They, they, they hold their egg in there. Egg. On to the next battle! Gib Gab! Gib Gab! We don't know if the Gib Gab is there. I'm just setting up some, uh, lurking for friends. Ah. Uh. Because I do that for them, you know? Do I want to give a lurk to? Ah, they're streaming. Oh, are you a lightning dragon? I'll probably need instructions to get everything to work then, right? There we go, lurk set up. Uh, I don't know if I came through. Okay, you did hear me, cool. Probably not if I don't go as crazy as you are. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna go with yet. But you go for that.
And we're gonna set up some more private houses. I don't know how many there we need right now, so... Uh, no thank you. There you go, you have an accommodation building. Congratulations. We probably need more. Power overload? Uh oh. Whoa, what the heck? One of them just blew up! Zim let the reactor blow up. I didn't let it do anything! This is why you're the captain, not the engineer. Ah, I figured out how to connect that up. Um, will, will you guys get over there and repair it, please? Somebody? Anybody? Hello there, Kit. Yeah, I must construct additional pylons. You are very correct. Oh, crap. More of them are blowing. <laughs> Oh, no, things are going very wrong very fast. Um... They apparently, uh, apparently when they, uh, get overloaded, they blow up. Okay, we, we, we need more. I, I guess we're going to put in another generator. I don't really need it, except for covering. Okay, we're good, I think. Yes, there was definitely panic. I think it was Wernie's fault. <laughs> totally wearing his fault. Yes, sir. We've unlocked infantry.
Our money is in the hole by quite a lot. Okay, you've yes. got a house, you do not. Understood. Congratulations, now you do. Yes, sir. Yes, you sir. have a house. You do not, that, there boss. you go. Yes, sir. You two have a house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You two do not, so we need at least two more. Congratulations, you now have house. You also have house. Okay, we've got enough houses now. Yeah, it was explosion. I, I'm sure it was the moth's fault. We have an infirmary for treating colds. We have a physiotherapy clinic for treating muscular injuries. Psychological therapy for treating psychological trauma. Sleep clinic for insomnia. And motivational therapy for laziness. Okay, let's demolish both of these. Oh, they have to stay there. Okay. I love how the large park is smaller than the closed park or the four corners park or the round park. Yeah, I'm sure it's the other one arrived damaged too. GLM! Hello there, G Money! Thank you for the biddies. FedEx is just destroying these packages that this company is trying to send, but if the item inside isn't damaged, I guess I'll try and make use of it, but... I kind of need these pa this item for hopefully fixing some of the issues that I'm having. Okay, this time it looks to be more uh, better packaged, at least. Not as loose in here, and everything seems to be okay. Ah, 
Oh, I can put in a bowling alley. Uh, what alerts do I have? Ah, ready to specialize. Get specialized in explosives, engineer. And you as well. Yes, sir. I am going to hop off for now. I will probably be back on later. Okay. Bye-bye. stream goes well. Bye. I have had nothing but problems with FedEx myself, Karma. Karma. We are getting a lot of applicants, but I don't have the money to hire them. Well, I've got the money, I just don't have the income. We need to fix that before we hire more. I guess you're not too bad. We'll put you in accuracy training. <laughs> we'll reject you. You're sickly. You get rejected. You are going for infantry. Yes, sir. Same with you. And we're gonna need another barracks before we can do anything else here. Sorry, Serio. I had to add a uh, uh, cooldown on the sound effects. Woo! 
Oh my god, they've got a... Well, that, that little light gun was definitely from the NES, but the cartridge sticking out of the top looks like a Super Nintendo. Ah, we need another barracks. Okay. Well, if you're low stamina, then go sleep. Go rest or something. I don't care what you do. Yes, Copy that, boss. Yes, sir. I apparently can't do anything to give him a rest. Would you all hurry up, please? Yes, sir. Set goal for infantry. Hey, somebody's ready for... Oh, this guy's ready. Okay. Yes, sir. Congratulations, you are ready. yourselves what the heck oh okay that's like a clay pigeon launcher thing I'm like is he shooting grenades out of that tiny thing Why is the canteen not have food? Maintenance, get to it. Yes, sir. Congratulations, yes, sir. my new explosives engineer. Power problem solved? What power problems? What happened? Who did what with who for how many cookies? I want more cookies. Cookies are good.
Yes, sir. Another yes, explosives sir. engineer, huh? Okily dokily. I think we need another maintenance worker. We're gonna put another research lab here. We've got an extra slot. How many maintenance do we have? Oh, we've got four of them? Why are you all not... Uh... Fine. We'll get another maintenance. Uh... Where is the main... Ah, here's the maintenance building. Uh, reject you. Reject you. Sure, we'll send you. We'll we'll take you. Yes, sir. Set goal. Comms operator. Perfect! We were looking for a maintenance worker. Oh, right. We need a private house. Wrong type. Accuracy. <laughs> oh, a new researcher. Go for it. Yeah. You have nothing special. Go away. You also have nothing special. Go away. Set goal for infantry. Ah, we can unlock psychological therapy. Or sleep clinic or motivational therapy. We'll go with psychological. In honor of the late and great Rygon. Need more ammo from bullets, bombs, and beyond. I love these company names. <laughs> What is going on? 
Hi, Zoro. For some reason, it's not showing me those redemptions in my view. Yeah, it's very odd. But there we go. Got it uh, refreshed. Hopefully it'll be working now. Not seeing any dropped frames. So our net should be good. Oh, you got some four terabyte SSDs. Very nice. Horse rest schedule. Ah, uh, reject you. You don't have anything special. No. But... Time for stream riders. Start the battle. And the victory is ours! I will say this game could use some other music. <gasps> the game, the music that they've got going is kind of uh, starting to It's uh, kind of the same song over and over. We'll give it some more time, though. I have been really enjoying this game so far. Yes, sir. Ah, somebody's ready for specialization. Oh, I've got them set for comms operator. Yes, okay. Holy crap, our income is way low. supplies in our ammo warehouse did we just buy a whole bunch of ammo Ugh, fine 
Good more in there. Ah, uh, no. Sure, we'll take another, uh, oh, no canteen. I guess we could Dude. build another canteen, but money is low. No. And no. Yes, sir. Ah, finally, another infantry. Yes, sir. Except. Now we're ready for this mission. Uh, okay. All right. Send you, Consider you, and you. Curl Valley was once one of the most verdant areas of lush grassland. Before all of this, it used to be a forest, but that damned dragon deforested it to create a place for military maneuvers. We are going to teach him a lesson. Send a few explosives engineers to wreak havoc. I bet they're not expecting that. But careful, don't send them all alone. Deploy some infantry to support them from a distance. With their help, I'm sure we'll take care of it. All right. Checks on the beach. It's perfectly legal. Grab a cocktail and relax. So he can apparently take a loan. But how do we actually see what this area is, uh, like this town and stuff? I'm guessing these are the towns. Well, if you're hungry, go eat. We have a canteen. It's full of food. <sighs> but does it have crayons? <laughs> hey there, funny man. Welcome in. No, I don't think we have crayons. We, we, we just have McDonald's. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, where's our... I believe we had somebody that was set to... break. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oops, forgot to set your goal. Yes, sir. There you go. Infantry specialization.
Yes, sir. Alright, so they've got their goals as well. <laughs> no wonder they're going hungry. You know, I can't argue with you there. Yes, sir. I think we've got enough comms operators. I'm gonna fire this guy. We need to save some money, and I don't want anybody with negative perks. Yes, sir. Squad, go take some rest and get ready for the next mission. All right. What's that sound? Sounds like an incoming transmission. Soldier, respond immediately. Does anyone read? Calling all allied forces. Agent on urgent mission. Please respond. Sergeant John Hawkins speaking from one military camp. Identify yourself. <laughs> Finally, you can't imagine how glad I am to hear your voice, Sergeant. Julie Leroy, uh, LaRue, or however it's supposed to be pronounced, reporting from behind enemy lines. <gasps> Wait a second, Julie? I can't believe it. We thought you'd been <laughs> captured. Where are you? What happened during all this time? Status report. I'm in enemy territory, Sergeant. I was assigned to track Dragon's movement during the war, and I lost contact with HQ when his generals attacked the southern territories. I thought we had lost. Since then, I stayed hidden among the enemy. I've been sending dis a distress signal every day, hoping to find someone, but I never got any answer. I'm so glad you got it. <laughs> Thank you for the biddy, Zoro. It must have been horrible, Julie, but there's still hope. We have a new base camp and we are mustering our forces. Hmm. We'll be able to begin a counteroffensive soon. What's the situation for our enemy? <laughs> Everything seems quiet, but I'm starting to notice some strange movements. Dragon's army is very interested in the mines in the Eastern Territories. I don't know what he's planning yet. Here, repression and absurd laws are the order of the day. But there's something even more urgent. I discovered something that could change the balance in our favor. But first, I need you to get me out of here. What? What is it? What did you find out? I still need confirmation, Sergeant. But I believe this could change everything. I'll fill you in on the details when we meet, but I need you to get me out of here first. I am in Greatland. I infiltrated Jantine Roosevelt's forces. Jantine is nuts. She's ramping up the repression and... <clears throat> Damn it, I've got company. I'll contact you later. You have to get me out of here ASAP. I don't know how much longer I can take this. Help me, Sergeant Hawkins. You're my only hope. See you soon. <laughs> Julie! All right, it looks like we lost contact. You heard her. We have to get to Great Land. What she said about Jantine worries me. Let's hope she doesn't give us too much trouble. You. Stick to the plan. We have to keep taking territories back and get Julie out of that hornet's nest as soon as possible. <laughs> no force here? Hey, Tsunami. I believe in you. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Apparently, my chef is only uh, assisting some of the people. Pillow fight? Really? May the military forces be with you. <laughs> oh, I know. That was definitely a Star Wars reference, Tsunami. Yes, sir. If you guys want food, take the food over to the canteen. Oh, we have to go send this now. Oh, I see. Roger that. Julie speaking, transmitting from the lion's den and still looking great. I have received a distress call from a nearby town. Drake and Stroops have launched an offensive to retake positions in this territory. The citizens have set up barricades to stop their advance, but they need our help urgently. We have to send reinforcements. We don't know if they will be able to resist much longer. Get moving, troops. I uh, reject you. Reject. Reject. Ow! Merl underscore 2009 shared with 500 eggy bitties. <gasps> Thank you for the biddies, Merle. And I'm okay, aside from the concussion I now have. Did you see that I added more stuff, Merle? Well, that's definitely a sign I'm into this game. <laughs> I almost left my vaporin out of juice. <laughs> All right, how many soldiers do we have of each type? We have three. Oh, I think I should wait until the mission's done. Oh, drop your love, Anvil. That's what you're calling it. Thank you for the head pat, Serio. Also, for those that are new here, that little critter on the screen is a very wet sable. They just had a bath. And they are very, very wet. Very Moist.
And now I'm moist. Wet duke. Duke, duke, do, do, duke, duke. Good job, soldiers. Get ready for the next assignment. More money! But how do we increase our income? <laughs> Cab damage control. Hello there, Sinic Not a slap. Sinic? Sonic! Hello. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew we had some promising co communications cadets. They've intercepted a radio transmission from Jantine Senior Command. Apparently, several of them will be overseeing the construction of a large satellite dish on Mount Cogolo. We don't know what they plan to use it for, but it can't be good. If we act quickly, we can catch them by surprise and foil Jantine's plans for Greyland. For Greylands. Excuse me. Oh, we didn't actually get to claim that territory yet? Oof. Alright, so clearly we need to start unlocking the, uh... Wow. We gotta unlock the aviator spe uh, specialization. Duke. What is that lightning dragon? All right, are all of my troops back? Looks like it. We have six infantry. Duke. I've got to get some people trained up for aviation. We got three of the, each of the rest. I think I want one more of each. So let's go ahead and hire some. You are rejected. Let's take a look at this. Alright, you'll get hired and go for speed training. Yeah. Congratulations, recruit! Yes, sir. And you get to become a comms right. operative. Yes, sir. Wait, no, I want strength for the other one. Congratulations, you go for strength chaining. That yeah. chaining. Wow, I cannot speak today. You heard it's one of the large content mods. You've heard of, but never tried it, so you're gonna try it out now. Fair enough, Lightning Dragon. Martin got my- I am the Martin! At least I think so. So it looks like aviation is both strength and uh, speed.
Ah, here's a prime candidate for it. We'll send you for strength training, but we're not going to set a goal yet because we haven't unlocked that yet. And we'll recruit you as a researcher. We are out of ammo again. You feel like... Oh, God! with <laughs> Oh! Thank you for the pities, Merle! <laughs> Why does the love from my chat always hurt? Another maintenance worker. I yeah, I I, I know how, how how I love the last one. It is hilarious. Hey Dragoon, thanks for the head bats. One that I put on a rest mission, but yes, I don't sir. know which one or rest schedule that is. Yes, sir. 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 Or do they go back yes, to regular sir. schedule after a bit? Yes, sir. I don't know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think that's the one I just set to it. Roger that. Yes, Back sir. to regular for you either way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we'll specialize yes, you now. Yes, sir. 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 
Yes, sir. Yeah, as far as I can tell, they all they do go back to regular schedule after a bit. Yes, sir. It's hypnotic. <laughs> Oh, hey, I think we can unlock the aviator. He is beak building. So, now our soldiers. Ah, I see. Back to the regular schedule then. Yes, sir. You set goal. For aviator. I want to hold on to you, but I don't want you yet. Not sure. We'll have you uh, go into the aviation. Yes, sir. Congratulations! You get to be an aviator. And now we return you to your regularly scheduled program already in progress. Where we are currently recruiting all the soldiers for our war against the evil dragon. He steps on rubber duckies. He truly is awful and evil. I mean, how could you stomp on the poor, defenseless rubber ducky? The monster. You're sitting there in a bowl of noodles, but you are the noodle. You are the noodle.
Alrighty. Place your troops, everybody. Oh, there you are. We've been uh, a bit busy. <laughs> Bad call. Uh, a few of them. <laughs> Oof. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but it is good to see you again. Yeah. No, I just got like 15 more minutes left and then I'm done. For real! <laughs> uh oh. Are you seek? You're not allowed to be seek. No, I was I eating a. Uh, I was eating a, like, a yakisoba packet. But it was one of the spicy ones, and it, and it was very spicy. <laughs> ah. It hurt my mouth. But my dumb ass is like, ow, this really fucking hurts. Me eats more. I mean, I can't blame it there. I mean, even if it's spicy, it sounds like it's tasty. And after all, is that not yeah. the most important thing? Yeah. This, this was like really spicy. Like I eat, I've eaten like spicy ramens and stuff before, but this was like above that. <laughs> oh. Well, I've just been uh, sending off missions and doing things like that. Nice. All right. I'm trying to think of what I feel like doing today. I vote. <laughs> yeah, hang out You're all so day. Me. 24 hour hangout. Oh no. <laughs> Ow! Thank you for the pillow, Merle, and the biddies. I'm actually, uh, I got invited by a few friends to go and uh, get foods later IRL, so I might do that. And leave? Yeah. Go buy That's me food, fair. and I don't have any food in my apartment right now, so it works out. <laughs> I thought you had snacks. I'm actually running pretty low on snacks. I need to go to the market and buy some, but I'm also low on money right now because I forgot I uh, spent too much on Patreon and was like uh, two hundred and forty dollars <laughs> to charge today. Yeah, that's fair. Charge tomorrow. Why to what? Why? One of them charges tomorrow for whatever reason. I don't know why. But uh, uh so a total like three hundred dollars worth of Patreon because I have no self control. It's okay, you're not the only one. Yeah. <laughs> At least some of it's negated by like what I make from my Patreon. But it, it's still just a lot. <laughs> yeah. 
Maybe you should fix that. Oh, I'm sorry, Lightning Dragon. Uh, unfortunately, I can't refund it. Yeah, art is, uh, art is good. Art is good. What do you mean it's not? Oh, because they're done with the Understood. speed. Now they need to go to strength. I see how it works. I see to, like, get Adderall and then do a bunch of Patreon sketches each month to negate the amount I spent on my <laughs> Patreon amount. So I could take more sketch deer. <laughs> oh my god. Why is that your go-to? Oh no. No network error. Please, no network problems. Can you still hear me, Wernie? Yeah, I can hear you. Looks like my net is having issues again. Just tell your net to not have issues. Ned, stop having issues! Good. Now that should help. I don't think it helped. Dang. Well, at least we tried. Sorry, everybody. Well, for those that watch this on uh, YouTube. Seems my net is having issues again. Luckily, it won't disrupt the recording, but... That's still not great for the stream.
All right, this is gonna be it for this particular game. Uh, we'll probably move to a different game or something here shortly. Uh, once the net recovers, but... Thank you everybody for joining us for One Military Camp. Check out our website, zgfgaming.com. We've got links for our Discord, Telegram, Twitter, Patreon, and more. They're on the website as well as down in the description below through our link tree. Thank you to my patrons, donators, and subscribers. It is because of your support that I'm able to continue bringing these streams to you all. I really cannot do this without your guys' help and support, so thank you. Consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash zgfgaming. It is one of the best ways to support the channel, though you can also do so by simply sharing the stream around. But for now, thank you all so much for joining, and I bid you the most fondest adieu.